Now to our drought emergency. For the first time ever, water levels at Lake Oroville have gotten so low, its power plant had to be shut down. Lake Oroville is located in Butte County in Northern California. It is a huge water source for homes. KPIX 5's Wilson Walker visited the dam to see up close just how bad conditions are. Here at Oroville Dam, where California's drought and the state's energy struggles come together in one single place. The power plant that is buried beneath me in this dam is now offline as this lake becomes a bellwether once again. So today uh, we're, we have a patio boat on the lake and we're removing it uh, because uh, for fear that we might not get it off the lake uh, by the, you know, into summer. So yeah, it's the first time ever. Time to get out. Yeah, it's time to get out. First, the water pulled away from the ramps and made boating nearly impossible. And now time has run out for the lake's power plant. The intake structure designed to pull water at different temperatures in a full lake has simply run out of depth to pull any water at all. It's a bad event. It's the first time since that dam was built in 1965 or so that we've had to shut down that power plant. For starters, it's another drought delivered hit to the state's ability to produce hydropower. And that's one of the reasons California has faced multiple flex alerts this year. It is also another remarkable moment for this lake. And off there is the highest dam in the United States. Governor Ronald Reagan dedicated Oroville Dam over a half century ago, but in just the past few years, this structure has been pushed to both limits. 2017, the year that followed our last drought, brought record amounts of rainfall and hours of terror when it appeared the dam might fail altogether. And now, just four years later, record low water levels. Uh, and that is an indication, uh, it's evidence, of human caused climate change. Uh, and we're seeing it now in our hydrology in California and of course elsewhere. So as people stood and gawked through the fire smoke at the empty lake below, it was hard not to think of this day as another step deeper into this slow motion disaster. The real fear is what next year bring? You know, what happens next year? Uh, you know, I hope next year's wet, but, but We've not planned for another wet year. We've drawn down our reservoirs far faster than we should have. And if next year is dry, uh, the, the pain is going to be much greater than even this year. So how do we make up for the lost power? Well, we certainly need it. It's got to come from somewhere. And that probably means making more energy someplace, maybe burning some more natural gas somewhere, or buying more energy, maybe renewable energy, from somewhere outside of California. Here on the Oroville Dam, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.